All right, today is the day. And as you can see, the car has been disassembled once again. And we have the tub standing on end because we are gonna be working on the rear bulkhead. Got it turned so that we have a nice uh, horizontal flat surface to work on. We are gonna be working on reinforcing that bulkhead and adding some uh, unidirectional fibers and building the structure in there that is gonna act as a rollover protection and connection for the rear subframe. And I will also be stepping through today and showing you some of the other structural things. A lot of people ask me or question the idea of using all composites in the tub rather than using a tubular metal frame. So we'll be discussing how we're gonna be adding some structure to the tub to make it rigid enough to be the subframe. Anyway, let's go take a look at that. Now, a lot of people have been asking if there's gonna be a steel roll structure in the car. And that is a yes and a no answer. There is not gonna be a full roll cage except that there may be the option of me installing hard points to putting one in for track days. But the basics of the car is the structure is gonna be in the composites of the tub. There will be a few metal parts and one of those being a roll tube, just one tube that's gonna follow the perimeter of this area here, coming above the window, out into these pockets and down and it will bolt through this area, which is going to be a vertical laminate of all unidirectional tapes that will fill this little cavity here, giving us a one inch thick unidirectional buildup, which is gonna be actually stronger than the metal tube. But the reason we're gonna use a combination of those is because the metal tube is much more malleable and will deform and still hold its shape. There's no problem with these vertical laminate structures here. They will always have enough strength to protect the occupant or even hold the vehicle, but they are tied to this whole bulkhead, which may be the weak point. The thing that we're gonna do to tie them all together, the roll structure will have tabs on it that have bolts that will travel through this structure and tie into our subframe and up here to our upper braces into the subframe. They have, so those bolt throughs go through to that upper brace. Down here, there'll be bolts going through into the bottom part of the subframe, tying it all into this structure. Now the trick is what we're gonna do is after each six layers of this unidirectional tape that gets laid in here, there is two layers of fiberglass that come out and extend onto the bulkhead. And then there are six more layers of the unidirectional tape, and then two more layers that extend out even slightly further onto the bulkhead. And that way, the structure ends up contributing to the whole structure of that bulkhead <coughs> firewall. And that's what we're gonna work on today. So we're gonna go ahead and get laminating and show you how that works with putting in the unidirectional fibers into these little troughs and adding our fiberglass out onto the bulkhead. Once this structure is all completed, we will of course go in and put more layers to make the whole structure covered. There will be more structure with the tunnel that will come through here, and there will be more bracing and a pocket built into here, which will be part of the built-in seating arrangement as well. Now I try not to just describe things how they're going to be, but rather just show you the video of it getting done. But so many people have asked about this, but I will just kind of describe now again a little bit what's gonna happen. So we have this steel tubular roll structure tied to this vertical unidirectional laminate structural piece here. Off of this metal tube will be another tube that will come through this area and tie into the back of this panel. This is where the strike plate, where the door will come down and latch to. So that piece of metal will come through and tie into this latch mechanism of the door. And then there will be a tube, a metal tube, running through the back side of the door that will also add as a side impact protection. So the side impact on the door will transfer through the door latch, through this tube, into the steel structure, which is of course tied to this piece here, 
which is in fact much stronger than the steel tube itself. Well, let's take a look at what's going to make it stronger than that steel itself. This, of course, is a one inch deep channel through that foam core of the bulkhead. And in a previous video, I put about 12 layers into that channel. And so we're just continuing that on for this video and trying to do a better explanation of it. So it's just a matter of laying up things with the standard procedure of putting some resin down and then go ahead and saturating the fiberglass as we put it in. Now these uh, unidirectional tapes are just about a quarter of an inch narrower than the channel itself. So I am uh, staggering them. I'll put one on one side and then down the other side. And as it goes through the channel, it comes up and laps on each end, one across the roof and this end, of course, down at the footwell or in the floorboards where the subframe will bolt through on the bottom and on the side, a little notch there for the second bolt on the side. So it'll have a total of four bolts at the bottom. And right about where I'm uh, squeezing up towards the roof is where that other pickup point be for that uh, upper brace and the bolts will come through there. And once I have six layers down, it's time to put a, uh, a layer of fiberglass down and that layer is going to be just lapping outside about an inch out of the channel. Now, these layers also putting down, besides extending that fiberglass out onto the bulkhead, also are very useful in helping you consolidate the resin into those uh, unidirectional tapes. And once that fiberglass is down, that's going to spread our strengths out into the bulkhead. We're going to go ahead with another six layers and same thing, just staggering them back and forth to fill that channel up. And a continuation of the process that we see so often of just uh, put resin down, lay the glass in and work it in with the brush. And of course, with these thicker laminations, sometimes it's nice to just grab our little, uh, condensing roller, push the fiberglass down into the resin, let it uh, saturate it well. And we'll just keep working this back and forth and building up. I think in this total, we added about 20 layers today and we had 12 from our previous round, which gave us a total of 32 layers to fill this channel up. And that took about 50 ounces of resin as well. A little fiberglass tape in here to kind of show you how this is going to work from tying the rear bulkhead structure going to the front bulkhead where the front subframe will be mounted. I have to picture this in your mind right now, but you will see it, of course, in later videos. But then these unidirectional tapes will lay across the bulkhead once this is flat across here. These unidirectional tapes will come across here and go down along these longerons, we're calling them. It's kind of an aircraft structural term, but this we're going to call these longer longs, longerons. So these unidirectional tapes will be built up into a fairly beefy structure that'll run along the longerons here. These longeron structures are not the main strength for tying the two bulkheads together. That will be the tunnel. These are just built to create a box structure to increase torsional rigidity so there is less twist in the whole tub frame assembly. So these fiberglass tapes, like I said, will spread from the bulkhead, run along the longer on, and up to the hard points for the front subframe as well. That of course is upside down. I can't point the video camera there and, point, and show you that very well. We will just have to wait till we start doing those laminations in another video. But you can see how these tapes allow me to uh, put focused intent on some of the straight areas. So we can spread them out on the bulkhead and then focus strengths up along the structure. And these will just come until they keep spreading out, focus in on some of the strength going up, creates that rigidity in there. Now this is not all the strength. There of course the fiberglass cloth that will be covering the bulkheads, covering the longer on, covering the floor, all that keeps increasing the strength as we go. And we are only less than 10% done with the fiberglass laminations on this tub right now, just in creating the shape of it so that we can start working on it. Now there's two things we have to consider. Everywhere there's a point where we have to put bolts through the structure, there is the foam is cut away so that we have fiberglass to fiberglass. 
Now we're only talking about fiberglassing on this side, but the same thing's gonna be true on the back side. There will be reinforcements and lots of fiberglass layers created there, but the foam is cut away so that the fiberglass comes together and we have bonding points through it. Now I've decided that uh, everybody is gonna say, I don't wanna wait for that video. So I'm gonna go ahead and pan up here and show you as you follow that long run up, comes up into this little area here. If you remember a video about enlarging the footwell, this is the area now that's fiberglassed from the backside. And we need to clean all this up and start extending our fiberglass, put our foundation layer in here and then start extending that unidirectional tape up and it's gonna travel along the longer on up into here and cover this and spread out into it and have some focal points of where that subframe bolts through here. And that will extend that strength down through here. Of course, like I say, that it is not gonna to totally rely upon just the unidirectional tapes coming to here, but the whole structure of the whole wrap in fiberglass coming up and tying all the surfaces together. So while I'm in here talking about this and speaking about steel structure and roll bars and such, we mentioned the tube around the rear bulkhead for rollover protection, the little side pieces that come and meet the striker plate and go through the door. There will also be one steel structure. There is a steel plate that goes onto this surface here for the hard points for the front subframe. And that plate will also have a tube frame that goes up and travels across underneath the dash. That will tie the subframe sides together, pick up hard point on top of the tunnel so that that adds a little more torsion rigidity from side to side as well. And that little crossover tube frame will also be the attachment points for our steering and our pedal assembly. Now in all the videos when we created these panels out of the molds, we created those out of six layers of cloth. And one of those layers was just a very fine three ounce cloth to reduce the print through of the fiberglass. Now here's a test panel of those six layers laid up so that we can kind of take a look at what that is. Now, as you can see, there is some flex still but if there is a flat surface area like we have down here and on the roof of the car, there is a Nomex honeycomb put in. So I can put on here, I can get some flex out of this thing, but as soon as you put a core into it, it increases the stiffness tremendously. And that is added to any flat surface area. This is the all that's needed in any kind of a panel that's a non-structural. Um, this will stand up to any aerodynamic forces twisting on the car. Now the trick is if it was all flat panels like this, we would have to add more weight to it or add cores to it. But as you can see, the car is not a flat panel. It's got lots of curves. So every time you add a curve or even a double compound curve, the strength and the stiffness goes up exponentially. So as you can see through, it's semi, still semi-translucent with just those six layers. And you can see through here the bulkhead as it comes through and meets perpendicular to this panel. Now, when those are bonded too, we've got fiberglass that comes across the bulkhead and then turns and goes up here. Now, as we've been mentioning, we will be extending the fiberglass across the unidirectional structural pieces in there. And as those fiberglass pieces that cross over there go across the bulkhead, as they reach to the edge, they will turn and go up onto the inside of the body panel and add a huge amount of strength because of the compound surface and adding on the multiple layers and building up surface area. So how much fiberglass are we going to add to this thing? Well, that's why I'm showing you this sample because in an area where there's not a structural concern, like on the hood of the clamshells front and back, we don't have to add as much fiberglass and add as much weight. But as we get into this structure, the tub, it's going to be multiplied tremendously from our six layers to possibly up to 40 in some structural pieces and most likely right around 12 in most of the flat panel areas that aren't 
included in the structure themselves, but just used to tie the other structural parts together. And now we're going to need a final set of six. So we're going to go through this one more time just to uh, tie these things up. And after uh, six more layers, I found that it did not quite actually come to the top or level with the bulkhead. So we added three more layers. So this final layer had nine layers to bring it to the same surface as the bulkhead. And then of course our final layer of fiberglass to lap over it all to spread the weight out into the bulkhead. And you can see now we've got about three inches of lap out onto the bulkhead. And that's going to do it for this side. And we'll add some more layers on top to tie them both together. There we have a little bit of that structure starting to come together. Like I have mentioned throughout this video and previously, there is a lot of lamination to go and a lot of build up on the tub. And of course, the main thing is going to be once we have some of that drive tearing components verified, we will be building that center tunnel where most of the strength will come through for the connection between the two subframes. Anyway, thanks for stopping by today and come back and see us again.